We've just looked at what happens when you have something that renames or modifies the subject of a sentence. We also have things that can define or modify the object of a sentence. And those things are known as object complements. And those get very similar treatment to the way subject complements get treated. So if I have a sentence, Oliver Twist's ninth birthday found him a pale, thin child. So, what we're going to look at, back to the basics, subject and verb. In this case, our subject is actually the birthday. Uh, you don't generally think of birthdays as doing something, but in the case of this particular sentence, It is, and the verb in this case is found. And so uh, while we're at it, let's uh, put a few modifiers into where they are. So we have Oliver Twist's ninth birthday found, okay, it found him. Him now is a direct object. He is being found. And then we have this last little bit here, and this, this is actually just renaming him. It's describing him in a way. So we have an object complement. And the difference between a subject complement and an object complement is very small. Where a subject complement tilted back toward the subject of the sentence, an object complement, you have this line tilting toward the other end of the sentence, where the object is. So this tilts toward the back of the sentence. It's modifying the object or in this case, renaming it, finding him um, with child as the object. And we have uh, actually three adjectives. We have a pale, thin child. So this is renaming the object, so it's an object complement. Now, we also have object complements that modify the object. The bad weather made travel difficult. So once again, we start with our basic structure. We have our subject, which is weather, which has a couple of modifiers. The bad. We have our verb, what the weather is doing. It made. And then we have travel, which is what the verb is acting on. So we have that as a direct object. And then finally, we have the word difficult, which in this case is describing travel. So it's describing the object of the sentence. So we're going to put it at the end here again with a slash toward the right hand end of the sentence, the back end of the sentence,
to show this is modifying the object of the sentence. And so that's where we say, if we're describing the object or renaming the object, we have an object complement. We tilt the line toward the back end of the sentence where the object usually is.